The digital landscape in Scotland is being transformed thanks to a major investment in faster broadband, which will connect communities across rural and urban areas and provide a platform for future economic development and regeneration. It's a major undertaking and it has the potential to transform the way we live our lives. A partnership between the Scottish Government, Highlands and Islands Enterprise, BT and local authorities, with additional money from the UK and European governments, it's one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in Europe. With increased download and upload speeds and greater connectivity, our businesses will be better able to compete on an international stage, communicate with customers and colleagues more easily, and store and access data more efficiently. At home, families will be able to be online simultaneously across multiple devices like PCs, tablets, mobile phones and games consoles. And we can look at using digital technology more efficiently to provide health and social care and deliver public services. However, this is just the start of a complex and comprehensive programme of work. We're building a new network across the country and it will take time for the whole of a town or telephone exchange area to be upgraded. Here's how it works in a typical exchange area. The broadband many of us have today travels on copper lines from the telephone exchange, usually via a green roadside cabinet, to your home or business. An important piece of the faster broadband jigsaw is the installation of fibre to the cabinet, or FTTC technology, which is where fibre optic cable is brought from the telephone exchange building to new green roadside cabinets. From the cabinet, it then travels over the existing copper line into your business or home. In some areas, we will install another type of technology called Fibre to the Premises, or FTTP. This is the second piece of the jigsaw. Here, fibre is brought directly from the exchange into customer premises, bypassing the copper network completely. There are various solutions to give faster broadband for exchange-only lines. These lines connect premises directly to the exchange building without using a cabinet. Finally, there will be some places where it won't be possible to install a fibre optic connection. For these areas, the Scottish Government will aim to help install other technologies, such as wireless, satellite or advanced copper. This is the final piece of the jigsaw to complete the new network. Each of the technologies that make up the jigsaw will become available in different areas in different timescales. Not all of one area will go live on the same day, and not every technology will be used in each area. It will take time and patience, but it will provide the communications platform on which we can build and sustain a world-class digital Scotland. For more detail about the project and all its benefits, check out scotlandsuperfast.com.